Yo, welcome back to Genshin Impact. Oh my god, I missed this game so, so much. I technically haven't been absent for that long, but there's a new update which came out, which I'm actually, I'm way too excited for someone who has no idea of what's actually going on, because I actually haven't met the character in canon yet. And also, oh my god, there's a new nation, and it finally ties together everything. We got Liyue, no, we got Sumeru over here, we got Liyue over here, uh, Fontaine over there, and uh, the desert over here. And now we're gonna find out what this is, but I actually, how? How do we find out? How do we get there? I have no idea. Guys, um, Alicino is finally here, the father. Um, which would be technically spoilers, I guess. I don't know. Everyone already knows who she is. I guess she's one of the Fatui Harbingers. I'm actually not too sure about that one, but um, she's the new character this update, and we're gonna try her out immediately, because her and Linny are gonna have banners. Also, what is this? Story quest? Oh my god, a new underwater map? And a new bo oh my god, that looks cool. Okay, okay, we're, we're gonna we're gonna start with characters because everyone is already pulling for her. And I don't even know, do I have guaranteed pity? Do I have any primal gems? I probably don't, but we're gonna read this now. Alicino's elemental skill deals pyro damage to nearby opponents and applies blood depth directives to them for a period of time. After using her charge to take or elemental burst, she will absorb nearby blood depth directives, gaining a bond of life. Alicino enters the Mask of the Red Death State when the value of her Bond of Life exceeds a certain percentage of her max HP, causing her normal attacks to be converted to deal pyro damage and consume part of the value of her current Bond of Life to deal increased damage based on her Bond of Life and attack. So, she's basically draining her own HP. Her elemental burst deals AoE pyro damage, removing the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill and restoring her HP. Oh, okay, that's how it works. That's cool. Okay, okay. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Why do I always have... Ooh, slay, slay Queen. Why do I always have the feel that whenever I hear voices for new characters that I've heard them before in the same game? Oh, I like her hairstyle. Like, there's actually red in there as well. Transfix what? Oh my god, that's so cool. You know what her, like, uh... The little graphics from her tech. Everlasting as the moon. The wings? Oh my god. Her playstyle, like the red attacks, kind of remind me of in the beginning of Genshin Impact when the unknown god was like separating us from our twin. And she's so smooth to play, and oh my god, her weapon looks so cool. Kind of reminds me of like if Rosaria was a 5 star. That's so. Oh my god, I need her. I need her, and I, I'm i not just talking about the gacha. Um, I don't have prep gems, unfortunately. And I don't have time to grind this game again. But um, I guess I'll have to make time. Also, while we're at it, because we also need prep gems, I'm gonna try out Lenny again, because he's also a character I would really like to have. So, um. Huh. Trying my luck on both banners, I guess. Like, his playstyle is cool, but now, compared to hers, she was like more moving around, and I like fast play styles with my characters. And he's like, he, he's basically a Venti was Pyro. Not just saying that because he's a twink, but I'm actually just saying that because he's a twink. Guys! I'm probably not getting any of them, so... <laughs> um, yeah, if I'm switching to the four star characters in a character's trial, then that means I probably shouldn't pull for them. I'm gonna pull for Alicino. And I'm gonna try to pull for Alicino. This is taking too long for me. Come on, give me my ult. Yeah, cool. Nice, thank you. Okay, now it has been easier at the end. Oh my god. I uh, need to pull immediately. I'm not gonna get anything though. Because I know my luck in the gacha is non existent. So, um. Oh my god. Do I have enough for one 10 pull? I don't! I don't even have. <laughs> 
guys, how do I get Primer Gems fast? How do I get Primer Gems fast? Okay. We're we're trying to summon the luck of the Gacha Gods. Please be on my side. It's kind of been a while since I've gotten a 5 star, I guess. I can't remember, actually, because I... Genshin Gods, if you hear me, I, I really miss this game. I haven't played Genshin in so long. I actually have been recording the event last week, but events don't count. It's not the same. Please, please come home. Please give me some. Come on, come on. Oh boy. Never getting anything <sighs> at all. Even if I try. Give me that. Okay, another four star. Oh, Lynette. That's that's cool. You know, I'm not complaining. I should play her though. But I'm not complaining. Um the, yeah, this is to be kinda sad though. Alright, we're gonna try to see if we can fly <laughs> over there. Oh, there's a whole new island. Is that all? Is that the only statue? Because it it looks kind of random and very deserted from the rest of everything. <laughs> like, how is that tiny thing filling out the whole empty spot on the map? Also, I should have switched to Gwenti before gliding because I think Gwenti's stamina lasts longer. I'm definitely gonna drown the second I get down there. Why did I do this? <laughs> this was not a good idea. How else am I supposed to get there though? I don't know. There's no wave rider here, at least not on my map right now. Wait, actually... Actually, this could be working. Oh my god. I'm not too sure though. It could be working. It looks like we're getting close enough. I may have to refill my stamina though before we land. There's a tiny village over there. Guys, I think we can actually do it. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Or I'm just gonna drown the second I get there. Why is that teleport point already activated? Why is it blue? That must be a bug. Is that even a teleport point? It looks like one. Why is it activated? You're telling me I could have just teleported there? Okay. Okay, Genshin. But guess what? I made it. It's very close. But I made it. Oh my god. Why are you activated? I've never been here. There's the wave rider. Wow. And there's the statue. And that's a Furina, I'm supposing. Give me that. Really? <laughs> are you for real? Are you for real? <laughs> this tiny thing? Oh my god, that's hilarious. No, that's very disappointing. What even is that? Why? What? Um. Marinostrum. Oh, there's a bunch of people out there. What are they doing? Let's go check it out. Um, and I get thrown into a quest. Hey, you! Yes, you! You blittering idiot! What are you doing dragging your feet for? Waiting for all us to get old? Why in the places aren't all these boxes already on the ship? Well, boss, it's just these boxes are way too heavy. If we lock them all up, I think the ship might... Might what? This is treasure here! Treasure! You're gonna just leave profit on the ground like that? But if we load everything on board, plus ourselves, I don't think the boat can hold all that weight. <laughs> That's an easy one. If we just leave a couple of you here on this island, we can bring all the treasure back now, can't we? Oh, a cunning plan, boss. Wait, uh, uh, one of the ones you talk take it with you, right? I don't want to get captured by those golems. You've seen what happens to anyone they catch. Then stop yapping and start move yapping. Why do they always say yapping? Was that word even existent before Twitter, like, a month ago? And start moving, if the Dark Lord's lackeys catch up, we're all done for. Dark Lord's lackeys? Are they putting on some kind of show? I don't think that's what they're talking- I think this is actually some deep shit. Wait, boss, there's people over there. Hey, why don't we go ask them? I don't think that's a good idea. Oi, you, yeah, you, the big on, uh, the tiny thing. What are you sk skulking over there for? Uh, uh-oh, we're in trouble. 
Hey, we're not doing anything wrong over here, so what are you getting all nervous for? Anyway, we should talk to them. Piper, why do you want to talk to them? They're probably gonna take us out, and I don't... Not meaning dinner. But okay. Hmm. <gasps> hello, kitty cat. Oh, hello. Hmm, from the look of you, you must be foreigners, and here I thought you were minions of the Dark Lord Ramos. This is the Traveler, and Paimon's Paimon, and you're right, we're travelers. Oh, but who's this Dark Lord Ramos you mentioned? Has he finished playing his part already? Um... You don't even know what a Dark Lord is? Alright, I get it, I suppose it is up to me to educate you. Oh, ignorant outlanders. As you know, this was once a peaceful town. In those days it was not yet, not yet named Petricor. We Fontanians lived here in peace and safety until the golem armies of the Dark Lord Remus came. He was an awful tyrant, one who claimed to be the ruler of all waters. His forces had already obliterated countless towns and cities before arriving at ours. He took our lands, polluted the sources of pure water, and even tried to use music to tempt us. They raised high bull towers and fortresses, and the Dark Lords fell melody and enslaved our kin. But we, Fontanians free, rejected this rule. Thus did I and the warriors under my command march to war all across the land. Oh! Mm, nice work building, very detailed. Uh, why do they still act like they don't know what's going on? Because I already caught on to that. And then, then, what happened next? How did you defeat the Dark Lord? Uh, Dark Lord's golems are each mighty beyond measure. How could we be their match? So we had the aid of Astrid a quick wit at this time. Of his aid, we infiltrated the Dark Lord's fell keep and reclaimed the treasures he and his minions plundered from us Fontanians. Like the boss said, uh, what it is we're doing again? Oh yeah, disrupting the special military maneuvers being conducted by the Dark Lord's legion is totally a brilliant plan. You're the protagonist of your play, yet you aren't on the up and down, up and up. Why does this Dark Lord take the sit? <laughs> Do you think we'd still be lagging treasure if he showed up? <laughs> like as not, we'll all have been turned into golems already, just like Esther probably was Esther the Pee for now, more like. Wow, he totally helped you, and you guys just left him behind and ran away. Are you sure you guys aren't the baddies? Baddies don't get to be the protagonists. What do you mean, protagonists? Take the stage. Oi, from where I'm standing, it's looking like you really as minions, just dress up as foreigners. I can tell from all your blabbering on about performances and plays. You mean you guys aren't putting on a performance? I've been saying! Oh, Paimon. Uh, so you won't fess up unless we, sh we try your first day? Let's get him, boys! Oh, come on! I just wanted to light up the map! What is this all about? Defeat the bandits! Here we oh, go. boy. I should've st been sticking <laughs> yeah. to the map. Oh. Oh, what's with this guy? Got some red glow around his head. Um, I just wanted to check out this little thing to, to see what the map is all about. I want to continue the main quest this episode, but uh, I guess not. Um, well, oh, let's see how fast we can get this over with. Or maybe this one's interesting as well. Who knows? I wouldn't know. Maybe we're gonna do work quests for once. The thieves who were beaten so badly they couldn't spare even a thought for the treasures fled onto the boat. There they go, huh? Guess they weren't acting after all. But what was this treasure they were talking about? Dark Lord this, Dark Lords keep that, no way any of that's real. Why don't we have a look at the treasure? Huh? But we don't know where this stuff came from. Paimon's expressing disinterest in treasure? <gasps> Say it isn't so. Where's the kitty cat? The kitty cat's still here. Is that the Dark Lord? I want to keep him as my pet. Paimon's just very... that... what if... well, just in case there's some kind of evil Dark Lord trap in it. Am I the only one noticing the cat and the, the weird red aura around? Uh, oh, there's one sitting on the roof. Oh my god, this is actually creepy. Um, Guess there's no dissuading you, but please be careful, okay? And as it so happens, there were no traps in a container of the evil dark lordy variety or otherwise. But there was no valuable treasure within either. Within was not by heavy shards of shattered stone. Mm, Paimon knew they were just a bunch of frauds. There's no treasure at all. Or is this shabby excuse for a statue some kind of priceless artifact? Uh, let's go to Patrick or ask around. Maybe it's some kind of landmark or lucky mascot or something. I don't think we could talk to anyone here, actually. As for these treasures, we... Paimon's voice? What does it say, Paimon's voice? Hey, Yagi, you! Why did it say Paimon's voice and not just Paimon... Oh. How unforgettable, the Hortus Ugertus, overflowing with fruit and flower. 
How grand and glorious Kassara- uh, Um... Um... Imperator, Imperator. Is this a dream? Is this the main quest? What is going on? You're finally awake. <laughs> Looks like you're finally awake! Oh my god, it's the Skyrim. Imperator, this thing is one of the great input. The day when we shall sound the great symphony, Phobos. Oh, I think I've heard this name before. In Enconomia, maybe? There is yet time before the ritual, Imperator. But we should set out. I seem to have a... I seem to have had a dream. Oh, I can look around. Oh, there's more people standing and watching. Oh my god, this is kind of scary. A dream, Imperator? I did not know that gods could dream. In that case, what did she dream of? The great plains beyond the north wind? The silver tree beneath the frozen soil? Oh, the music is kind of chill. I like that. Or did you see that golden future that you once showed me? I saw the sea swallowing the earth. The children of white stone and brass sinking. The collapse of all that was once radiant. That prophecy, then, Imperator. It is precisely to prevent it from happening, to fight against inevitable fate that we are here today. Just as you said, we have paid much for it, but once we are free of fate's shackles, those sacrifices shall not have been in vain. In this have I had faith ever since I accepted this body and became a Remurian. Apologies, Imperator. Forgive my lack of manners. In any case, please come with me. Um, are we getting recruited to some... Something shady. I'm being watched and I do not like it. This feels like a whole new game once again. Do these guys all look the same? I guess. Um... His clothes remind me of Scar or Moosh. Though you bestowed undying bodies upon the people along humanity to fear the tides of the deep, nevermore or souls are still found by the shackles of Fortuna. The burden of fate is not something mortal souls can bear, but Phobos shall weave the path of fate on our behalf, leading us forward on the path of justice. The melody of the symphony will flow through the waterways to the high sea, and soon Remuria, no, all of humanity, will be freed from the tyranny of fate and welcome an eternal utopian future. And then one day the people will no longer need the guidance of Phobos and all will be able to play their own symphony. Um, are we going to an orchestra, an opera? I mean, I appreciate music, but this is kind of scary. What is going on? Who are these guys and where am I? Ramos. Ramos. This kind of looks like the beginning of the game even. What is going on? I thought this was just some random world quest, side quest, whatever. Ramos, you once said that you would create a future free from the shackles of divine destiny. Yet your realm now lies violently shattered, and the chasm you tried to bridge has grown deeper still. The immortal race you create and the people of the waters are slaughtering one another. Is this a new, like, Archon quest from the Traveler chapter? And now the so-called Eternal City too faces an imminent, imminent collapse. You cannot control your own creation. The symphony has brought neither justice nor happiness, but instead has become the source of all sin. Though their flesh and blood have been sundered from water and soil, the lost souls guide them upon the path of inevitable death nonetheless. The curse of Fortuna is upon you, people, and upon you. Do you still remember our promise? That is our last resort, as long as the symphony is played. Is this the only way you... Usurper lords of humanity know to atone after bringing things to reunion. Still, your resolve at least does not shame your kingly crown. And a promise was made indeed, therefore allow me to bear witness to your end. Um... Is that where... O oh, king cursed by fate, draw on thyself in song, wine and feast, for the day of judgment has not yet come. Is that what all the other people are experiencing? Sing with the red aura around their head that I also have red aura around my head. Yaki, please wake up! Uh, just now. Oh, you scared me to death! You... You suddenly just completely stopped moving and started staring at the statue like you were a statue yourself. Paimon thought you had been turned to stone by the Dark Lord's evil curse. I think it was a strange daydream or whatever. But there isn't really a curse, is there? Are you okay? I'm fine, sorry for making you worry. As long as you're not hurt. Yeah, we should definitely go to Petrico first. Is that what the city is called? I have no idea what that is. Petrico's Dream. Canticles of Harmony Prelude. What? Let me check the quest menu. Okay. That's a world quest? Are we sure about that? It seems way more relevant. 
First of all, where is the cat? Where is the kitty cat? Okay, I'm gonna activate this one as well while I'm already here. Wait for the waypoint. Come here, kitty cat. Come here, kitty cat. Kitty cat. Where is the kitty cat? What is going on? Oh, he can actually talk. Oh, there, citizen. If you require shelter, simply head to the bell tower in the city center. The savages have been getting all bold and uppity lately, so be on your guard. And you are... Loretus Visitinus, am I, under the auxilia of Machimos Legio III. So long as we are here, we shall suffer no despi despicable invaders to step within the city walls. City walls, where they come from? Hmm, are we not within our defensive walls as we speak? Ah, wait, I see, you're testing me. Well, just as, just as Dominos Bofius once said, the mighty legions are the true walls of the Empire. Um, yeah, he's definitely not here, he's zoned out for real. Um, anything else? You mean the bell tower? Indeed, these are days of fire and sword after all, and as soldiers of the Imperator, or God King, we cannot allow our imp Imperial citizens to be exposed to danger. Someone in the bell tower will guide you to Machimos, you shall be safe there. Um, about the barbarians, there's more stuff I would like to know. Those savages? There's nothing to be said for those dis detestable invaders. They destroy our cities, slaughter our people. Enemies of the Empire, I name them. Nay, enemies of all civilization. Still, you need not fear, citizen. Dominus Perfius shall soon come to Machimus in person. When that happens, all disturbances shall be utterly quelled and those putrid primitives shall get what they deserve. Have you met any barbarians? Hmm, not yet, I fear they're cunning lot, I must say. They rarely show up when they cannot be sure of victory. Um... Oh, okay. Oh, a lot of weird people everywhere. Why are you sitting on a roof? Oh, hello, bird. Why are you sitting on a roof? Well, that's a nice looking door. I'd like to have that in real life. How do you even get up there? Okay. Fish. A very ordinary branch that has been processed. Ridiculously common branch. That does sound kind of fishy if you ask me. So I can still talk to these people, but they're like not mentally here. Let's play. Giovanni. John Giovanni from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hi there. Oh, I wonder when this one will finally be over. What are you doing up there on the roof? Um, monitoring the area for any suspicious barbarian activity, of course. Recently, wait a moment, how did you get up this watchtower, citizen? That's my line, really. Uh, whatever, that isn't important. Tribunus Medi Medius says that the savages' assaults are advancing apace. The latest news is that they may have sent spies among us. We must be on guard. But would those brutes really be interested in our remote little city, to the extent that they would go through all the trouble of sending spies? Me to speak no matter how small a portion. Ah, oh, citizen, you speak true. It seems I must keep to my task. Hm. Judging by how you spoke, might you be experienced in such matters? In which case, could I entreat you to survey the surrounding area? Should the barbarians have been active, they must have left some trail, like a wooden sword, perhaps. Uh, like kids play fighting. I found a very common branch. Is that it? Well, now they are savages. Would it be so strange that they would use sticks as weapons? I found one. In any case, I am counting on you. Should you discover anything, report back to me. Consider it your joyous duty as, rem as a Remurian. Um, I found a few. Yeah, I found one. Okay, wait, I need to find more. This is actually interesting, because it feels like a whole new game, but it reminds me of, like, old games I used to play when I was a kid. When you were just, faster. like, walking around and doing the most random shit in literally the most random <laughs> game ever. Like, doing side quests in Assassin's Creed or something. And yes, those are the games I was playing as a kid. <laughs> Not Minecraft or anything. Um... Oh, nice instrument. But that's not what I was looking for. Those auxiliary of barbarian stalkers spreading over rough rumors about those lock knights again. I should suggest to Dominus Bofius that we stamp these ridiculous ravings that out completely. And you are? Huh? Well, no need for surprise, citizen. As you see, I am a musician elevated by the Sebastos, yet I'm a citizen, just as you are. 
Marcia Guardiana Semproniana am I, here by the imminent will of Dominus Belfius to take over from my colleague, Xavieros, and turn the melodies of this land. Ah, uh, you sent a musician, huh? Indeed, that is so. A flawless body, immortal life, and absolute beauty behold, the citizen. You look upon the honor bestowed on me by the Sebastos. He has caused their bodies to transcend lowly immortality, turning the tragic dirge of death into pearl triumph. It is by this grace that I have the honor of performing the eternal symphony. Hey, you look like an ordinary person. Is that so? Thank you for your praise, citizen. Still, you should direct that ador adoration to the might and mercy of the Sebastos. To carve immortal bodies from stone that look no different from ordinary mortals, who else but he could have achieved this great feat? Um, anything else? About the loch light? Ugh, sorry. Fret not about the lies those slaves tell. Their so-called loch nets are but facious, far-fetched fictions. They spread rumors and called us barbarians who worship a false god knights, believing that they shall one day free them from the fated duties. I do not condemn such folly, for folly is the way of the lowly, yet the delusions are found even hotter, such that their melodies are tranquil no longer. They must be cured once the disturbances here have subsided. I shall act forcefully to correct such strange schemes of, of suspicion. Delusion and weakness both breed turmoil. Um. The Lock Knights? <laughs> Ridiculous ravings and nothing more. What was the other voice I just heard? Was she like talking to herself or is there like a kid nearby? Oh, love letters. Someone's get love letters in their mailbox. Oh, there's the kid and... This place feels so deserted. I know. Up, Everyone looks so weird. Um... Stay on your guard, citizen. What are you doing? Me? It is as you see. I'm busy dealing with the barbarian threat. They have been stepping up their attacks. Perhaps they might even have sent spies. This is no trivial matter. Vigilance must be maintained until re reinforcements arrive. If there is anything else, please bring it up with my adjutant, adjutant citizen. Uh... Child out there on their own? <laughs> A child? Where from? Did some new legionnaire disobey orders and bring the family into the camp again? <laughs> Domino's Cassiodor is far too gentle with these greenhorns. If if this were to have happened three decades prior, Atribunus would have had a whip out by now. Uh, have there been any suspicious happenings lately? Not at present. That said, the barbarians are akin to cunning beasts. Ever will they strike when your guard has been lowered for surprises their greatest weapon. By methods most fall their infiltrate our cities and seek out our secrets. Even a slightest lapse in discipline may lead to catastrophe. <laughs> Thirty years ago, when I followed Dominus Bofius to conquest in the far north, they were but a pack of primitives without any such skill for sub subterfuge. What did they learn these tricks? Thirty years ago, my parents would have wouldn't have wouldn't even have been born yet. Hmm. <laughs> what did you just say, citizen? I fear my hearing's been going as I age. <sighs> Time truly is cruel. During the conquest of Peturia, I could hear the barbarian's bells calling them to master from miles away. Okay, um... Oh. Another branch? Alright. Um... Weird town, weird people. Uh, very interesting quest though. Um... Okay, there's even more. Sorry, I had to- oh! Oh no, I did something wrong. Welcome to- oh, the only person who's still in their right headspace. And the cat is nearby again. Welcome, travelers. Oh, traverse is of dreamscapes. And there's a teleport point. I am the bell ringer at the intersection clock tower. The guide that welcomes travelers to the eternal city. Oh joy, more world building, eh? So, Valiant Guardian, shall we find Eternal City to our left or to our right? Wait, you're in character already? Are you sure you're okay? Why are we still doing this? We're not in character. What is going on? Um, leaving that aside for now, all the times people we ran into on the way over were acting really weird. Do you know what that's about? Why, everyone has gone to matrimonial Machimo already. I imagine that they now dwell under the protection of the Sebastos. Wow, so in addition to the Dark Lord Ravens, now we've got a Sebastos. 
This is getting more complicated by the minute. Dark Lord Remus, it would appear that in your journey you have crossed paths with those uncalled barbarians. That is indeed a bliss feminist title with which they besmirch the Sebastus Remus, our mighty Im Imperator. Ah, oh, so they are both the same, Remus. They are the same person after all. But it is of no consequence. The Sebastus may not be defined by the narrow notions of the tribal mob. Those despicable insects may speak slander as they wish, but the vice inspired by his noblest ideals will yet come forth in their droves. When the battle of eternity tolls, all that has ever come to pass shall be erased and all will be reborn, regardless of who they are or who they are from, or where they are from. Be grateful and rejoice, praise be. What shall we do, Yaki? This person sure seems lucid, but the stuff he's putting is all kinds of whack. You think we've got a sleepwalker here? Maybe he's dreaming. Do you name me a dreamer? Uh, the symptoms do match. Dreaming! I uh, certainly. Uh, um, now he's stoning out again. Okay, um. Hey, you, oh, he's out cold. Travelers from outside, halt. Excellent. You two look completely mentally sound. Finally a normal person. Seriously, what's going on in this town? Before that, let's get this gentleman somewhere safe. Can't be leaving him lying here, can we? He'll catch a cold. Um, though the risk of catching a cold may not be the most important thing right now, you still work together with the normal person to move the incurrently rambling bell ringer onto a nearby bench. Anyway, allow me to reintroduce myself. Call me Esther. I'm a member of the Taos Daydream Club. I'm the only member present right now, though. Paimon's Paimon, and this is Yaki. We're... Uh, tourists... Uh, pe pe passing adventurers? Adventurers, you say? Uh, you're not here to look for that castle or whatever, are you? Wait, you introduced yourself as Esther. We've heard that name before. It was you who brought the bandits into the Dark Lord's castle, was it not? Uh, what? So, so you've also... No, no, we're by the way, trust us. We just don't get why everyone's saying all sorts of crazy things. You tell Esther about how you met and drove the bandits who saw the shattered stones as treasure away outside town. Oh, it's them. Um, uh, where to begin? The legend of the fated castle has never been a secret. Adventurers just like them come by looking for it every once in a while. And whether it's because the impression the name Golden Troop conjures up is nothing more than poetic Im imager imagery, or because the castle was built millennia ago, it's more likely that not that nothing of value remains there now. Uh, but would they ever listen? Of course not. No sooner had I brought them over to the ruins in the mountains, may they began destroying statues and stuffing them into boxes like people possessed. I could not stop them alone, so I went back town to get help, and never imagined I'd find nothing but they stars and bad rambling all around. It was like everyone had fallen under some hypnotic spell. The Daydream Club has researched hypnosis before, but something like this is far, far beyond our capabilities. My hypofe hypofe hypothesis is that something abnormal has occurred within the ruins, according to the records. <laughs> Actually, why are we the only ones not affected? Interesting, most interesting. Uh, maybe we can find treasure solution in the ruins. Not treasure. Why don't you wait here, Esther? Leave the adventuring to us. If you come to, you might get turned into a golem. Oh, is that your cat, Esther? It's so cute! No, though, the fellow who studied hypnotism would say that they are creatures with keen senses. <laughs> How odd, uh, uh, color? Pendant? I guess we have seen an accessory before. Maybe that's the Dark Lord Ramus. Uh, it ran- It ran off! Anyway, ignoring the cat question for now, we should say go to the ruins first and have a look, say, as how can we get there? The ruins, uh, the mountain behind town, just so happened to be the exact direction that the cat ran off in. <laughs> okay, cat. <laughs> are you sure you're okay? Things are pretty murky right now. Take extra care. You too, alright? We'll be right back, don't you worry. I knew the cat would lead us there. It's like follow the white rabbit, but the white rabbit in question is a cat. I'm counting on you then. <laughs> How could something like this happen? I can't just leave everyone else in town to fend for themselves, or I'd be up gander back to the ruins to investigate. So, it's a good thing I ran into you. Please be extra careful. Alright, and I'm still missing one of the branches for the little side quest I've been doing. Okay, wait, hold on a sec. There's so much going on here. 
first of all. Gliding be faster. Teleport point. Alright. Give me that. Bozet. Oh, shoot tonight's menu, B. What are you doing? Alright, I'm working on tonight's menu. After much contemplation, I decided on fish for the main dish to go with a few special drinks. I'm sure those gentlemen will be pleased. Thanks to the God's King's craze, the spices I ordered finally arrived on time, and combined with some fish fresh from the ocean, well, feel free to stay and have a taste. Trust me, fish are my specialty. Uh, nice outfit. I like your tie. Um, so looking for stuff though. Where's the lost branch? Can I climb up there? Is there anything above here? Like, let me see. The birds are chirping. Oh, there's stuff up there, but I can't go there. Um, 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 um. how do I get there? Maybe from this place? There's. Oh! Okay, there's a cave. Is that the place <laughs> where I need to go? Um. Oh, okay, not really. Okay. Defeat the revived statue. Holy oh, statue can move! <laughs> Give me that. Thank you. Uh -uh. Think you can get away? That's one of the things I've seen in the vision. Ah, uh, stop beating me. Ah. Uh. There's a lot going on here. And I fear this quest won't be too short. How do I break the shield? Wait, maybe we'll sell you. Yeah. Probably. Good idea. I should have Pyro on my team. Would have if I had Alicino, but I don't. Oh, but maybe, maybe, maybe. Where is it? Nothing so far. I thought maybe I could get Primal Gems, but I can't. Take off. Button smashing. Oh no, the shield is back. No, not for long though. Not for long. And be gone. Shield be gone. Shield be gone is what I said. Brace yourselves. The depth back. Be still. Oh, why does it? Does he recover his shield so fast? This ain't fair. Okay, one one last time, one last time doing this shit, and then he'll probably have some answers for us. Okay, now tell me something. Not oh. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I've just seen this cat in the- Because there's like a new menu with like new avatars for your profile. And there was a picture of a cat and I was like, Oh my god, what is this with the cat? I want the profile picture. Not bad, not bad. Your value would not know shame. Even should it stand in a company of the Marachosi hunters of old. Wow, it's a rare shiny cat. <laughs> We've seen a whole lot of really strange things on the journey. Even so a glowing talking cat. I'm supposed it's the mix the realist. One such as I shall not dwell on being called a strange thing. O oh, chosen champions, Yaki and Paimon, the time has come for true heroes such as ye to step forth. Come with me unto the ancient kingdom of the deep seas. We must still the chaotic symphony if we are to save the lost souls. This is also part of the world building too. Alright, I'm the hero, let the journey begin. Okay, so the new map that we've seen in the menu is the one underwater, and that's still this place. Okay, so from above it looks like it's just a tiny island, but if you go underwater, there's gonna be a lot, probably. Seriously, Yaki, how can you fall for this stuff so easily? Very well then. Oh, chosen hero for the sake of Pyman's tummy tum, stand tall and move with pace to buy her some Fanta. Speaking of, just who are you? Must I start from the beginning? Very well. Aronites of Oronopolis is my name, a spirit keeper of the ancient realm. Oh, or, uh, oh, oh, what knights of the where now? Oh, what a tongue twister. Pime is just gonna call you Osley for short. That's close enough, right? What do you think? Meow meow? Meow meow? 
Mm, it appears that I cannot comment this body as I wish to the extent that this bestial behaviors may even overbear me from time to time. <gasps> come here, kitty cat. Come here, kitty cat. If from the beginning I could only have... <clears throat> as the two of you can see, the boundaries between past and present have begun to blur thanks to the influence of the chaotic symphony. It is for this reason that I have... that I too have awoken. For now, the affected area is yet small. The inhabitants of the Patricor have had their souls taken away. They exist in that mad and dreamlike state because the symphony has temporarily granted them identities and memories to fill the void left behind. It is as if a vessel filled with pure water has had its content replaced with wondrous wine. An, e an apt description considering the dozen memories of ancient history gifted by the symphony. Yeah, that pirate thing. So, what you're saying is that the townspeople of Petricor have had their souls stolen and then their bodies have been possessed? Oh, that sounds super scary. You said that the affected area isn't very large yet. That is correct, Yaki. Of course, eventually even the Court of Fontaine will be consumed if the chosen hero cannot restore harmony to the chaotic melody. No choice but to take a look. Yeah, all right then, I'll lead the way. Thank you so much. The road to the ancient realm lies beneath the spring you see before you. I have caused the seal on the hidden path to manifest. Next, I shall activate the device that maintains the seal. Um... Okay, you don't get to see that every day. Looks like a liar. There we go. Now then help me retrieve the harp strings and I shall thus be able to break the seal and open the way. I still gotta look for the last branch. I'm not done here yet. Where are we? Are we zoning out again? Oh, didn't even see that thing before. Thought it was just a pond. Now then, let us go into the faded castle of gold. A faded golden cast? Hmm. Esther mentioned something about the legend of the Faded Castle too, right? Are we talking about these ruins? Nay, nay, these are but scraps on the surface. The true castle lies deeper underwater. Ah, oh, you sure do know much more than the cats in town, huh? I'll say. You go. Do you want to live in my teapot? You compare me to the cats in town? No! Such. <laughs> Thought of closely and trying to get lost then. Wow, you just jumped down. Can cats swim? Uh. What the hell is going on? I want to look for the branch, to be honest. Um. Oh. There's a domain. That's good to know. What in the world is going on? I am so confused right now. Faded theater. Where is the last branch? Okay, wait. I gotta get back to town real quick. Go down, go down, go down. And they're gonna go to town, yeah. Go down, go down, go down. Everybody go to town. If you get down, yeah, get down. No, 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 go to town. No, 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 And there's the desert over there. <laughs> Where's the last branch? I must be missing something. Oh, there's... Why did it just remind me of the town from Encanto, now that I see the daytime? Like, uh, the buildings? Something about the architecture? Okay, there. I have to get on top. I bet that the last missing branch is on top of the bell tower. But I just don't really know how to get there. Okay, wait, let me... Have a look around the area. Black pink in your area. Are there any other NPCs I haven't talked to yet? I feel like I must be missing <laughs> some of them. Oh yeah, for example this one. I must find a way to resolve these structural issues past haste. What issues? I'm designing a high-speed aquabus, but there's just one problem. After, peri after a period of high-speed operation, its internal components begin to vibrate intensely, damaging them. I've tried switching materials many times, but the problem remains. Is the problem with my design then, or the materials? Uh, could I see that aquabus? Ah, well, the trial versions are all in my lab. I came out here to, uh, find materials. The god king even assigned me a guard to, to conduct research under his glorious banner. Such happiness. Yeah, this suit doesn't know anything. What about you? I must find a way to resolve these engineering issues post haste. And what issues? Why that of the Hyatt? 
Altitude aqueducts, of course. These will become key arteries for Remuria, allowing Purios, pedestrians, and pilgrims alike to pass. But there are still a great many issues to solve. First, materials, then, the bridge supports schematics. Uh, high altitude aqueduct here. The sooner the sign phase, of course. I shall have to undertake some discussions to perfect the plans before construction begins. What an investment of resources and manpower. Such wonders are only possible thanks to God's King Grace. I am truly blessed to have been granted the opportunity to dedicate my life to this work. Um, But where's the branch? Oh, another statue! Hey there, buddy. Nice weather we're having today. It should just be a statue. But maybe he wants to talk about the weather with me. Nothing to say to me, have you? Perhaps you can spare a bit. Show me the side you usually hide. Alright, looks like this one's really just a statue. <laughs> funny, funny. Hey there. Do not be complacent, citizens. They could attack at any time. 136. Alright, 40 more times and we'll take a break. Uh, you need a hand? A hand? No, no need. What training requires the assistance of another? Only by honing my physique can I join Legion Atonatoy as one of its sublime soldiers, just like this officer here. Oh yes, introductions are in order. This is my instructor. Only by clearing the test, he says, can I earn the right to ascend? Uh, what tests? Combat tests, naturally, and ascend in the martial form is one thing, but combat skills must be on of one's own accord. In any case, would you like to have a go? The initial test involves the simultaneous smashing of these stone pillars. Oh, okay, I can do that as twenty. Don't underestimate them, however. Even for all my training, I can only shed one with a single punch. Uh, I'll give it a try. Excellent, you have spilled. Come, let me witness your strength. Okay. Here we go. Um. Okay. You know what? Think you can get away? Okay, maybe animal isn't the right thing to do. Um. Huh. Yeah. Well, that's how you chose to handle it. Truly splendid. Have you preserved? Previously served in our guards' armies by any chance? Our oh, fine officer is always so praised as your performance. It seems it must I must work harder. Uh. Okay, why does he look like that now? Um, my branch. My branch. My friend, I am looking for a branch. Um. Brace yourself. How am I supposed to find that? Like, for real now, um... <gasps> I see a treasure chest. Venti. Ha. Oh, cool. Now I can make my own house. Where's the goddamn branch? Alright, off to the bell tower we go. Oh, there's a little music note. Oh, ancient inscription. I once crossed the layers of clear waters visiting the corridor beneath the lake, and once crossed the boundless valley reaching the ruined city in the east. I once conquered the golden sands blotting out the sky seizing the treasure of the deed, and once conquered the boundless blue unearthing the buried secrets of deserted islands. But the more I obtained, the emptier I felt. No amount of treasure could fill the hole in my heart, until I met the great sage Ru Ruggiero. Through his teachings, my inner peace was restored. I used the wealth accumulated, accumulated over long years to aid him in rebuilding this town, and divided the remainder into four parts, hiding them on this island. Facing the heart of the mountain, seeking the heart of the springs, reached the corner's apex, gazing at the distant islands of pouring pearls. If you want it, then go look for it. The vice will always find the answer. Juliano, an ordinary village. Or, um... Do you have a branch? My friend? Burdick, Burdick, Burdick. Um, where am I supposed to look? They already talked to this guy. Grundeland, nope. Wer hat dein Land zugrunde gerichtet, Grundeland? Thanks be to the God King, all goes as planned. And where are you? Um, an outlander, here. Are you a pilgrim by any chance? Still, no wonder. The great works of Remoria are worth the admiration of all people. 
Also, since the God King has granted you leave to bask in his glory, I have no right to object. What's the plan you speak of? Dad, I am presently working on the research plans for our institution. There is much to do, but thanks to the God's King Radiant's blessings, we have many clever minds ha and hands to take up the work. To be entrusted with such duties in his blessed name, <laughs> such happiness as mine, it shall never be surpassed. Um. <sighs> That's not the branch, I'm guessing. That's just more bird eggs. Great. Bro, I'm sorry, but I can't find it. Like, wait. They're glowing as well. Oh, that's a guy. Okay, that's not just monsters. Let's help him then. Maybe he has something to say. Take this. Alrighty. This shall be over soon. And the next one. What propagate? Here we go. Time for takeoff. Okay. Now tell me something. Tell me something I don't know. Thank you, my benefactor. God can be praised. I'm saved. Are you one of the legionnaires who defended the city? Or Villa and Soul who happened by? In any case, allow me to introduce myself. Faustus, am I one of the Mer Mercatoris Exquisiti appointed by the God King himself? I came here to transport spices from the southern realms. I did not think that those wild bishops would surround me the instant I came ashore. Bishops? Didn't see any bishops. Ha! Huh. My word, you truly are a mighty warrior. Those foes are simply beneath your notice, I see. In any case, do take these. Give me branches, please. Yet I fear it must be short on pleasantries. These could still need transporting into the city. Perhaps you shall meet again here. Please be the branches. No, just money. Why would I ever say something like this? Did you really see? I'm really looking for these branches right now. We are in the trenches looking for some branches. Man, maybe I need to find some guy called Francis. What is this? Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 sorry. <laughs> um, hello there. Can I please platform not working? Do something. Hello. And how am I supposed to climb up there? It's not working. How do you expect me to get there? Hello. Hello. Um. Can I restart the challenge? Wait, oh wait, I actually can. I forgot that this exists. Um. I forgot that you existed. And I thought that it would kill me, but it didn't. It was so nice, peaceful and quiet. No, I did not listen to Taylor's new album because 31 songs. Who has the time? Who has the time? I'm still waiting for Miss Eilish in three weeks. Oh my god, BE3 at midnight. We are not ready. And it continues. Oh, Jesus. This kind of reminds me of one of those old Windows XP games. That I used to play on my mom's PC. I'm not quite sure if it was XP or like whatever came after Windows XP, but still old system. It was like a Santa Claus game. I think it was one of those pre installed games. I have actually no idea. Maybe Santa Town in Trouble or Santa Claus in Trouble or something along those lines. And I think you were playing as Santa Claus and you had to like do jump and run and collect presents without falling off the platforms. Sounds really lame, but when you're like seven years old and have never played a proper PC game before, then that's just the coolest thing ever, trust me. Girl, I don't even know what these things are. The, what? Why is it running away from me? 
Move. Oh. Okay. Um. What? Oh. Oh. Come here. Okay, wait, I see. Move. Now? Uh-huh. Okay, cool. Mm, yes. Very wow, nice. I actually feel useful for once in this game again. It's been a while. <laughs> Quite literally. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, having reached the island of pouring pearls, facing the heart of the mountains, seeking the eye of the springs, reach the corner's apex. Juliano, an ordinary villager. Okay, same guy again. The same guy is here again. Okay. Um. Do I have enough things to get? Oh, hell yeah. But is that enough for one pull? Is what I'm asking. Is it? Uh, um, not quite. Okay, wait. Um. Maybe we can still find something here. Maybe we can find a branch. That would be nice. Would be really cool if I could find a branch. Did I say I'm looking for a branch? Because I am looking for a branch. Oh, that's where I've been before. Um, there's another puzzle here. But, bro. Like, do I look like I know how these things work? Because I obviously don't. I obviously... Oh, wait. Okay. And then... Did that do anything? Did it work? Oh wait, it did work! Huh! Huh! Like that? What am I supposed to be doing here? Like... What? Hey, fall and said, give me that. How far does this thing have to go? Um, maybe there's something hidden underneath one of these boxes? Ah! Uh, I don't know what I just did. I guess I did something? Come on, there's only two options. You either go there, or you go there. Oh, wait! Uh, huh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's how it goes. Okay, cool. I'll keep this close. <laughs> I still need some more primer gems though. <laughs> to make a pool. Where can I find the last branch? I literally don't know how to solve the puzzle that this dude has oh! Why are you here now? Oh, it's you, friend! You are? Ah, if you forgot my name, Fosses of the Mercator 6 who on a mission from a merciful god king. Thanks to you rescuing me, I was able to spend a sp send the spices from myself here in time. Ah, god king be praised, may his glory ever shine. Uh, what do you sell here? You mainly import rare goods from the southern nations, such as Hannah set and spices and even some gin devices. It is some manner of desert fox bug with more cunning and clever by far than those barbarian slaves. Dad said, I'm all, I'm, s I'm all out of my present batch of goods. Should you be interested, you can wait till the next shipment comes in. Okay. Okay. So those two guys met because of us. Um, have I been here before? Maybe that's where I need to go to find the last thing. It all leads back to this place. But not yet. We're gonna do this next episode. If only I could find the goddamn branch. I'm saying, if only I could find it. Then I would feel way better with ending this video. And there's another one. Okay, I was actually not expecting this. I've just been like, okay, there's a mountain, gotta climb the mountain. But normally, there's like, no use to yeah. doing stuff like this. But sometimes you get rewarded. 
Oh, maybe I do get primary gems if I go to the statue, because maybe I do have enough for leveling up the statue. But I got no clue. Oh, Venti, don't fall down. Is there any place where I haven't been yet? Is there anything that looks interesting enough? Okay, there's still a treasure chest. And there's another puzzle. Oh, there's some weird looking things. Okay, wait a second. Let's try another one of these. Anything that looks suspicious besides this thing? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. 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 Close. That was easy. Uh, I thought there was more to this. I thought I had to use my brain. But I'm glad I didn't. Uh, okay. Are you the things that belong to the other treasure chest? Are you a branch, perhaps? Nope. Just some money. Let's play. Let's enter swiftly. I don't know which character says that. I don't know someone says it. But I can't remember right now. Oh, these things are hard to fight against. Think you can get away? That's a pain in the air. A pain in the air. Because I'm using Venti's ult. Get it? Because he's. I was gonna say because he's an air conditioner. No, because he's an animal character. The animal god, to be precise. The reactions go. Brr. Time for takeoff. And another one. And there you go. Uh, almost, 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 almost. Be still. Here we go. Thank you. Do I have enough prima gems? No. This looks like the place where the last branch would be. Come on. Oh, this is such a cute place to hang out and take pictures. Okay, wait, I'm gonna do this one. Jesus! Okay, you better find the branch on the way. Nyum. 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 No! Still not enough. Um. Nyum. Um. Let's play. Benji. Uh huh. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Ah, that's where I would have gotten the uh, Fontaine Noculus Hydroculus uh, if I wouldn't have seen it already. Okay, wait. Uh, let me take a quick look at the map. It looks like I've been everywhere and I've talked to everyone. There's no more NPCs somewhere astray, I guess. But also no clue where the branch could be. Why am I so invested in a goddamn branch? It's cause the guy on the roof told me to go look for it and I don't wanna disappoint him. Maybe, maybe that's... Maybe that's why. But maybe I need to do backtracking, because sometimes you need to do backtracking. Okay, wait, wait a second. Can I level up the statue to get Prima Gems? Is that what I can do? Not quite yet. God damn it. It was worth a try though. Are there any branches around here? Are there any branches around here? Over there, maybe? Come on, someone spare a very common and normal looking brand. Oh, Healy Churls are here as well. And bye! Oh! Yeah, that explains why the, why there's a treasure chest here. <laughs> Makes more sense now. Kamisato Art! Sue you! Okay, cool. 
Maybe, maybe the branch is underwater. I don't know how that would work, though. Maybe it will work. All yours, should you have any use for them. Can I, can I get it now? No, three more. <laughs> You're telling me I need three more to make one pull. Do I find another church chest somewhere here, maybe? Maybe. Just maybe. I can find another church chest somewhere. No? Okay, wait, guys. I think I actually have to teleport away for a second. And find a treasure chest uh, literally anywhere else. Which is not that hard to do because I don't have anything unlocked in Fountain, basically. I just want to make one last pull before I end the video. Because I think maybe. Maybe we're gonna have luck this time. Which is always proven wrong. Let's find shelter, quick! Watering works on plants, but not people. How long do I have to run until I find a treasure chest is what I'm asking. Because it should be nearby. I don't have anything around here, so um Oh hello there guys. Um where Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um there's a treasure chest right here. But how do I unlock it? Uh, this has to do with a puzzle. I don't want to do puzzles. I can do challenge. Does that give me five prima gems? Because I would need that. I would need that really. Okay. Okay. Trying. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. And how many primogems did we get? Two. I need one more. And oh, there's another one, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, to be like that sometimes. When life gives you lemons. Okay, that's just some mobs I need to beat up. I can do that. I, I should still know how that works, right? Please, don't embarrass me now. Don't disappoint me. Be still. I don't like the Hydro guys. They're annoying. What are they called? Hydro Idolians or something, I guess. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Give me them drops. Thank you. And and we're not gonna get anything. Oh my god, what? What? It was worth it? Arlecchino, <gasps> fourth of the Fatui Harbingers. The children of the House of the Hearth call me father. <laughs> I do hope our partnership proves to be a pleasant one. Although, I would imagine that should be fairly easy. After all, there's no cause for contention between us at the moment. Huh. Wouldn't you agree? Why is she talking? Oh my god, I... Uh, okay, guys, it was worth it. Um, see you in the next episode of Kenshin Impact. What the hell just happened? I can't believe this. Bye, until then, Shazam. What the fuck just happened? departing soon.